Now we start. Have you ever experienced going out of power when you need it the most? Now, imagine that you are the head of a health facility in Ghana that has to suffer for about two hours of blackouts every day. The main concern of the Energy Shelf project is to provide solutions to the energy problems of the health facilities, but combining the efforts of researchers, policymakers, and private sectors. I work for the Soup Working Package 1.2 where we look at the factors that influence the diffusion of new technologies. Going back to our previous scenario, imagine that you are the head of a health facility in Ghana. Would you prioritize investments in technologies that can make electricity more reliable? Would you rather invest your limited funds in technologies for electricity production that are environmental friendly? Would you focus in technologies that make electricity more affordable? Or would you rather stay as you are, expecting that the government will be able to solve soon the issue of the blackouts? On this background, the work of my team is to ask those same questions to the managers of 200 health facilities covering the coastal areas, the middle belts and the northern areas of Ghana so that we can have data representing the whole country. Um, some words about my research team. Well, it's comprised by myself at the Hochschule von Rhein-Sieg in Germany, by Kennedy Alatinga at the SD Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies in WA. They work together with the University of Development Studies um, in Tamale. And we also have 10 research assistants, and they are the ones that are going to be asking the uh, health managers those four questions that I put to you at the beginning. After receiving the different answers, we will look closely at the set of indicators that include socioeconomic factors, environmental conditions, experience with energy generation technologies, information on technologies, support program available, financial and technical capacities, among others. The analysis will allow us to know why some people would prioritize reliability, environmental outcomes, or affordability when choosing to invest, or not, in technologies for electricity generation. We are going to start soon the data collection, so hopefully, before the end of the summer, we will have the first results. You can follow us in the website, enershelf.de, or also in our Twitter channel. Thank you very much.